Um, muy buenas noches. Um, good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good sir. Evening. How are you? What are you doing right. up to? Uh, that's good. Uh, welcome, Mr. Carlos and Ms. Galdames. Welcome. Um, well, we're going to start with um, the class that corresponds for this day. Uh, and we're going to start by watching a video and that you have on a platform. And um, also that it's going to help you to solve some exercises in section number four and also in section number five. Uh, just give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, looking for the video. It is here. Okay, and what about your vacations? You did something? Okay, in my case, nothing. Just nothing. resting at home and working and fixing issues in, in, at home. Oh, okay. Nothing special, but I have the opportunity to rest a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's good. Something like that happens to me. Um, this vacation, because I was at home, I trying to solve some things here too. Um, and I didn't stop working because I have a lot of things to do uh, with planifications uh, for a different entity that, that I work for. And um, things like that. Well, guys, um, in section number uh, four, you have a early birds and night owls. Um, and in this case, we're going to uh, watch the video that is called Reduce Time Clouds. Check it out this. Can you watch uh, my screen right now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a second. Um, and what about now? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. So please pay attention to this video and then we're going to be discussing about it. Okay. Hi. Are you ready to learn about reduced time classes? Stay and learn what they are about. We will learn today about how some advert clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases, but only when the subject of the advert clause and the main clause are the same. If you use time expressions like right before, before, right after, after, and while, the time clauses can be reduced. Let's study the following sentences. After I finish my work, I head to the office. After finishing my work, I head to the office. Notice how on the second sentence we omit the subject and change the verb finish to present participle, finishing. Remember, the present participle always ends in ing. This is another example using while. While I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five-minute nap. It can be changed to, while taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five-minute nap. Notice we omitted the subject again and the verb take became taking. However, other time clauses cannot usually be reduced. For example... Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Until I've had my coffee break, I'm such a grouch. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. I've been at night person from the moment I started college. Okay, very good. Uh, Finish up this following sentence. We're going to start. Um, with this. Other clauses of time um, can be changed to modify phrases. As we saw, well, we do have some examples there in the, in the platform that we're going to be checking, but uh, we're going to start with this. Other clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases. Do you watch the video uh, before to solve the exercises? Yes, no? Actually not. No, you didn't. Okay, um, 
This is a, something, something else. It says only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same, we are going to um, use what is called time expressions. And, and here we have uh, some of the examples like uh, time expressions like right before, right after, before, after, things like that. Um, and um, these are the, these uh, time expressions, we use it um, with the following purposes. Um, to reduce time clauses. And, and here we have the examples after I finish my work I head to the office. That is the first sentence that we have. And the second one, it says, after finishing my work, I head to the office. What happened here? Um, what is happening here? Okay, tell me. What is happening with these two sentences? Okay, it, uh, in the second uh, sentence, uh, they are omitting the subject and uh, using the ing form of the verb. Okay. Okay. Um, in this case, yeah, thank you, sir. That That's correct. Uh, and in this case, when we have like reduced time clauses. Um, when we use after I finish my own work, okay, it's correct to say it, but we can uh, make it shorter. Or and sometimes this is uh, with the idea to reduce um, the words that we pronounce in English. Um, as you know, when we use after or any other time expression, as the ones that we saw uh, before, uh, we are going to use the ing form. Okay, we are going to meet the subject instead of saying after I finish. I'm going to say after finishing. And that's going to happen all words that we use for uh, reducing these um, time clauses. And then we add the rest of the, of the sentence. Um, check it out this information, this part okay. here. Um, while I take my lunch break at work, okay, I often sneak a five minutes nap. And if we notice here, uh, in the second one, we have reduced the sentence like uh, while taking my while while taking my lunch break at work. Okay, uh, we are just omitting just omitting the subject. That's what it's uh, this uh, exercise about omitting or in this case uh, reducing the uh, sentences. Well, in the in this part. Here we have some other examples of um, time expressions and the sentences that we have for a, in some sentences that we had for a reduce. Um, ever since I was a kid, I have troubles getting up early. Uh, as soon as I get okay, up in the morning, I race off the gym. Until I have my coffee, I'm such a scrunch. Uh, whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. I had been at night person from the moment I start a college. So there, there we have so those those sentences. Um, what we are going to do right now is this is going to be an activity uh, where we are going to look for um, time expressions. And we are going to do a comparisons between reduced time expressions and non-reduced time uh, time ex uh, I mean uh, uh, time clauses and a reduced time uh, clauses. Okay, reduced and non-reduced time clauses. That's what we are going to do. We are going to do uh, a comparison between two sentences um, and try to look for a different subject in a different bird uh, that you can uh, work with it. Um, is it clear what you're going to do right now? Because it's gonna be an individual activity. Just make a comparison. You're going to write two sentences using reduce uh, time clauses and non-reduce time clauses. Is it clear? 
If not, yes, sure. Sure. if not, here we have some, some of the examples of how we're going to do. Share your sentences using the chat box. There you can uh, share your answers, okay? Okay, teacher. I will be checking right now. You're going to have uh, five minutes. I have I have just uh, four participations and I see that you are you are eleven you are eleven so um, I had just four five participations that means that um, six of you are missing please share your sentences in the chat box I mean four participations just four.
Okay, sir, tell me, uh, Mr. Vasquez, you're raising your hand. Tell me. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have a question uh, about the the models on the on the course because. Sorry about uh, what? About the models ah, okay. in the course. We we have here a uh, five, but uh, only our uh, four sections. For sections, and I, yes. Uh -huh, and, and I don't know if the progress percentage is calculated with these five models or no. just with the four sections. No, no, sir. Uh, that was my mistake when I say five sections because you have just four. The thing is, I, 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 sometimes I got confused with um, some other groups that have five sections, but in your case, you have just four sections, okay? Uh, don't worry. This distance is based just on four sections. That means that uh, the, all the sports that you are going to get during this course go. It's going to be uh, based on it, just four sections. And uh, but then is there is something that you must uh, be careful with it because um, we have just four sections, right? But in the section number three. In section number four, I mean, section number two and section number four, you have a, there a, a midterm and a final test. A, so you have to complete a, both because uh, sometimes can be confused with a, with a uh, midterm because we sometimes uh, we can find it, uh, but it's there in section number two and also this the, the test, uh, we have to complete it. Uh, that's what's going to change from section one and section three because uh, those sections doesn't have, uh, I mean, th those sections uh, do not have the, uh, the any any other exam, just the section. Uh, so, okay, my question was uh, because mm -hmm. the global percentage. I have completed uh, all the all the uh, exercise and and the midterm and final test, and I have one hundred percent in almost all. But mm -hmm. my global percentage is ninety three percent. Ninety three. Do you complete all mm -hmm. the exercises? Uh, I mean, do you uh, left some of them in blank or something like that? Because you said no, almost. I yes, because in the final test, uh, there's one, the third one, uh, I got only uh, eighteen point three instead of twenty because there's a section, there's a section I I can uh, have the full uh, twenty points. Okay. I don't remember why. Uh, I, I don't know. There's a okay. the, the the in the in the C mm -hmm. section complete sentences part one the number six I don't know what the let's check the let's check that because uh, answer I head to the second. office uh, we're going to check that right now just give me a second I'm going to share it because okay, uh, I don't you. know uh, yeah the thing is that you can complete the the, the final test. um. And you have, you need the twenty percent. I mean the twenty points there. And maybe the thing is that the final test, the final test uh, has a, a different score. And could be for that reason. But let's check. Okay, final test. You mean um. Which exercise? The number six of uh, section C, complete sentences, part one. Okay, uh, part we one. have we have a uh, cost of living, green spaces, uh, and I choose uh, the transportation system. The number six uh, says uh, it's easier to get around in a city that has a has an efficient transportation system was my answer. 
but I have uh, written the answer with capital letters and let's lower check. case and nothing. Okay, check it out. Nothing works. Let, let, let's check because uh, sometimes it could be like uh, double spatial or something like that. In this case, is I mean, no, uh, you, 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 I guess you're not in the. Oh, okay. Yes, that is that this is part. Mm -hmm. okay, the, the, according to the system, this is the uh, answer that you must write. It needs just system. system. And I don't know why. But maybe uh, there's a there's a mistake because yeah, the, the choice is transportation system. Yeah, it, it's an error there. So just write system. Oh, okay. You are going to have it correct because this this is an error. Transportation okay. system. Yes, that's right must be the old uh, phrase. Just system. Just system, right, just system. Mm. Okay, let me check because I wrote system and it didn't count as good. Okay, system without the, the period. Without period. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. the period is, is in the in the sentence uh -huh. there. So, so for that reason, um, yes. In that case, in that case, teacher, I have one hundred percent in all sections and all the tests, all the exercises, and twenty-five of twenty-five, twenty of twenty in all of them, even mm -hmm. though I have ninety-four percent. Uh, maybe you can you, you need to check all the exercises since the beginning since section number one uh, take a look of it okay take a look uh, uh, of that exercise because um, that could be some of the reasons teacher, why. teacher uh, I have the same problem too you have the same problem um, yes. Okay. Because uh, I finished all the platform and the option to download the certificate does not appear. Even because depending on the platform, a section is missing to complete, but is section number five and that section doesn't exist. So I don't, I don't understand. What's what your name? Gabriela Celaya. Okay, but well, but we're going to start with Mr. Carlos Vasquez. Uh, let's see if I can. I think I can figure it. Um, no, um, I have to check um, a different document here. So uh, I would try to solve those problems uh, individually uh, later, after, or maybe tomorrow in the morning or in the afternoon. You can contact me. And I will be checking all those those problems that you have in a platform. Maybe we can contact you um, a technical support, and they're going to help us. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay, sir. Uh, Mr. Carlos Pasta, just uh, let me. Just I'm, I'm going to write your name here. Remember. I think the problem about the certificate is for everyone because I already finished all my exercises and I don't have the option to download the certificate. But do you, um, it's supposed that you, at the end, in the final test, if you, if you have the 80%, it's supposed that you have a, like a button and it says like um, request certification or something like that. But let me let me ask because I, I, I'm lost with this. Uh, Ms. Maritza Mira. Yes, I am. Maritza Mira. And also, what's the the other one? Miss Berenice, right? Yes. And Gabriela. Yes, I am. Okay. Gabriela. Yes. You too. Gabriela. I have the same problem, teacher. Oh, really? Okay. Hello, teacher. Me too. I have the same problem. I oh, I have finished all the workshop, 
and I don't get my certificate. Okay. Yes, that's why I told you it's for everyone the problem. Oh, ah, okay. It, it ah, appears that, that, that we have a section missing. Yes, okay. Uh, well, if it is for everyone, it there there must be a problem with the platform, this case with this course in specific. Um, but let me ask tomorrow, because I think that the technical support is going to answer me um, till tomorrow, okay? So, but I will try to solve it. Because uh, if that's a problem for everyone, that's, that's a big problem because they have to solve it. But uh, I will be sending you news uh, in the WhatsApp group, okay? So um, we're going to solve it as soon as possible. Don't worry, because at the end, you're going to have your certifications. Don't worry about it. Uh, and it could be a different way, but they are going to let you know how you are going to get your certification. So don't worry for it. Uh, the, the thing that you have to be, uh, I mean, the, the thing that you need in order to get it is to uh, complete the exercise and get at least the 80%. That's a minimum. Um, but if you get it already, don't worry. Well, um, because we can solve that problem right now, we're going to continue with uh, the exercises uh, that you send me. Um, I'm seeing that you some of you send it but some of you know okay uh, most of you send it um i'll check in some of um, the exercises here and i see that and i see that um when we use the in this case, the, the time expressions like for, uh, after, um, there is a problem with misspelling. In this case, taking before. I'm, I'm just checking, sorry guys. Uh, I'm just checking your exercises. I'm just taking a lot of it. Okay, here we have. So, okay, some of you has wrote, uh, wrote just, a, um, just this is an example, like uh, when I go to, at a, to watch the movie, okay, when I go, um, in this case, when, when is not a time expression. So in this case, we have to change it, change it, because uh, we can use while, Okay, while, while uh, I uh, go to watch the movie, could be an example of it, and the other one could be like, while going to watch the movie, that could be the, the other one. You can check it there, and what else? Yes, I think just that, because uh, the when it's no a time, at a time expression, so you have to be careful with it. Um, we're going to we're going to see what are what do we have? What other um, time expressions do we have? And we're going to use the whiteboard. Okay. Here we have. You know what are time expressions, right? Time expressions. I have some problems with expressions. Okay. Um, do you know what are, what are uh, time expressions, guy? Time expression. When do we use it? Um, it could be just to express an idea and set the period of the time in, in the idea also. Okay, okay. Uh, that, that, that'll work. Express a period of time. We're going to take that. Okay. What else we can say about time expressions? Uh, 
Okay. What else we can say about time expression? Uh, we can use this expression with the past, present, and future forms. Okay, we can use it with past, present, and future. Very good. That's something that we're going to take to take to. Um, what else we can say about the time expression? Okay. When the people uh, use different period of time, for example, early, late, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, very good, excellent, excellent. So uh, that's right. So um, time expression are just phrases or words that we use it to identify an a specific time in, in, in um, well, in a specific point in time. Um, so with time expressions, we can use as uh, the source set, uh, uh, past, present, and future uh, that we can identify, oh, well, the actions can be identified on, on those um, things. Um, in time expressions, we use like um, words like after, like before, like scenes, okay, there, there are some of the common time expressions that we use in English. And, but there are some others uh, that we use like, um, that are composed with phrases, um, such as um, the next day, that is a phrase that we use for specifying that something is going to occur uh, the date after this one. Uh, there are some other expressions like every day uh, that sets an action um, an action in a specific date since this moment or since the past to this moment and also that it's going to be continued um, in the future. Some other expression like yesterday, like tomorrow, like today, uh, that we can use it. We can use it in order to specify a, a specific point in time. Um, in this case, when we are going to use what, what is called um, what is called reduced time clauses, um, we're going to use time expressions um, in order to specify something uh, in a period of time, okay? But the action that we're going to express, it's not going to be set in that time in specific, because I can say like after, okay, after getting um, uh, my diploma, okay? After getting my diploma, if you notice there, uh, we are saying something, we are, uh, uh, setting something, setting an action that's going to happen in the future, but we are not saying who is going to receive that action. But uh, the person that express uh, that, uh, that phrase, okay, the person that said that action that's going to occur in the future, it's the ones who receive the actions. That's why we can omit the subject in this case. And the subject, as you know, in English, in sentences such as a simple past, a simple present, simple future, um, and, well, past continue, um, present continues, and some other tenses that we have in English. Um, well, in those cases, you know that we, uh, we can't, we cannot omit the subject. We cannot just in sentences such as uh, if we use uh, sentences such as imperatives or superlatives that we just give orders. But this is another uh, topic to talk about it. Um, what I'm talking here is that sometimes when uh, you try to uh, speak uh, quickly, okay, and you try to reduce. Uh, reduce sentences in order to speak uh, faster could be or you know to express something. Um, 
it can be expressed in a clearer way if you mean the subject, just if you are the ones who is receiving that, that action. Uh, because it's not the same to say after, okay, uh, he take the, the what, the uh, plane could be, after he takes the plane, um, if we try to omit the subject in that kind of sentence, the sentence won't have sense. Uh, because I can say uh, after taking the plane, but uh, after if I say after taking the plane, eh, I'm not referring to someone else. I'm referring to me because eh, that sentence or the, the, the person that receives the action of that sentence, it's me, it's no someone else. For that reason, sometimes when we omit eh, these kind of um, eh, subjects, okay, the sentence can be understood. Uh, so th this is something that we can add to this, uh, uh, to these exercises that we were solving here. Um, well, do you have any, any questions for me right now? No teacher, but can you give us uh, a few examples? Okay, sir, thank you. And what about the rest, Mr. Morales, Ms. Caldames, Ms. Peraza, uh, Ms. Mira, Mr. Carrillo? Uh, Mr. Morales, I can hear you. Oh. I know that you have the microphone open, but I can hear you. I don't know if the rest can hear me. And right now? Yes, I can hear you right now. Okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, firstly, I, I can say it's sorry for the late. And I, I have something to do, but no uh, worries, actually, uh, for that reason, I, I don't have uh, not not a big idea that the things that you are saying. So, if you can explain me a little bit just to get the, the idea. Yes, yes. Of handy. course. We're, Thank you. We're talking here about time expressions. And uh, also the topic that we're solving here is the section, is in the section number four, uh, that is, um, if I remember is 4.2, okay, which is reduced time, uh, time expressions. Uh, I mean, reduced time clauses. Um, there we're using uh, the sometime, some uh, of the time expressions in English. Uh, for instance, we have after, we had before, and we have a while, that's another time expression that we have there. And the thing here is that when we use those time expressions, if you are the ones who receive the action, if you are the ones who is speaking in that moment, you cannot meet the subject. Instead of saying, I, after I take something, I can say after taking something. So we can do it, we can do it, uh, and we can reduce the sentence. What is the change that we are going to do to this kind of sentence? Well, uh, the changes that uh, the sentence is going to suffer is just the ing form, because instead of saying take, we're going to change it to taking. Okay, we're going to check the exercises that we have here in the, in the platform, and we're going to be, uh, working on some of them. I know that you already saw it, okay? But this uh, examples is going to clarify us um, some of the ideas that we had for introducing uh, time clauses. Here. Okay, there we have. Um, I'm going to uh, play this uh, audio first in order to solve this exercise. Okay, and then we're going to listen to the second audio and we're going to solve the rest of the exercise. So please pay attention to this audio because I'm going to ask some questions about it. Chilling out. Can you hear that? 
Yes, yes. sure. Okay, yes, so. Okay, very good. So please pay attention to. Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. 1. Sean You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. Three. Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but... As soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. Okay, very good. As, as I said, uh, we're going to share something uh, with the rest of, of this group here. Um, and I'm going to ask you, I don't know who's going to participate, but I'm going to ask you, uh, what are the things that uh, make you stress? Okay. Uh, to me, the traffic. The it's traffic? Hard. Why? Yes. <laughs> but because why? Sometimes it's, it's, it's because sometimes if you want to move from another side to, a, to your house, for example, or come back for a day work, you have to wait for at least two hours, but the traffic is really hard. Yes, that's that, that's true, and sometimes that that make us stress. Uh, mostly, if we need to go there uh, as soon as possible. I, imagine in an emergency, that's that's worse. Okay. Um, well, someone else wants to share with us what make you stress. Hello, teacher. I, I Hello. want to participate in this situation. And okay, and okay. I, I agree with uh, Mariano. I think that traffic is, is horrible nowadays and more if you drive a standard vehicle. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think that traffic is one of the, of the most horrible things in the city and in all the country, I think. You, you vote? You, go you both are, are from Santa Tecla, right? I, I am from San Salvador. San Salvador, okay, the same, yes. the same situation that Santa Tecla, I think. Yes, 
And, and, and in all the country, I think, because if you, in this vacation, you are going to the, to the beach. Yeah, it's hard. In all the Puerto City. <laughs> yeah, Puerto that's, that's horrible. Costa del Sol, that, that was horrible. Yes, that's my, yes. my participation feature. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay, so, yeah, yes, that's right. The traffic, it's so, sometimes it's so hard to manage because we sometimes have the like, like we prepare things to do in, in at the age. And when we're, uh, when we're moving from one place to another and we had to wait around two hours, three hours uh, for whatever reasons, because sometimes it's, it's for whatever reasons, maybe an accident is occurred there and it's, uh, you have to wait around two or three hours. Uh, well, things like that can happen and, and make us stress. Uh, well, someone else? Wants to share with us? Uh, Miss Mira, what makes you stress? Well, I could say many responsibilities. Um, I am a single mother uh, of a girl of 22 years old. So I have to. Um, uh, expenses at home and expenses for her studies and a lot of things to do at home. Uh, those things sometimes they make me stressed. Okay, okay, very good. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, Mr. Morales, what about you? Uh, well, I totally agree with uh, I, I don't know who says uh, the traffic, but uh, apart of that, uh, <laughs> I, I am so stressful with people when I had to 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 do lines like on the bank, right? Because it's well nowadays it's really insane to make a, a a line to to enter to the bank to make other nine to yeah. get a ticket and after that uh, get all the night to pass with the uh, with the with the I don't remember the, the name but the cashier right and uh, it's a big stress it's a big it's stressful deal with that thing because yeah. yeah it's stressful because you can spend the whole morning or the whole uh, afternoon uh, your mail, I, I don't know. Even I, I heard a lot of times, you know, people that they use the their uh, they time to 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 launch right to to get a uh, something uh, at band right, and they spend the whole the whole launch, and they they don't do nothing right. It's it's really stressful. Do lines uh, on the bands right now, right? Yes, that's that's something so insane because uh, well the, the, the same happens in in in, in uh, well oh, in many institutions mostly I, I see that mostly in in public institutions like the bureaucracy is oh my god it's another level of, <laughs> of wasting time and it's it's horrible okay um, well guys. Um, I don't know if you have any other question because uh, we're going to stop with this. Uh, and I don't know if you have any any question before answering this. No, no questions no submitted. Question. No questions. Okay, number one, two little time. Who said that is stress for a, for it? Sin, Lisa, or Victor? Lisa. Lisa, okay. Uh, who is stressed for too much traffic? Victor. 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 Ah, okay, okay. Victor. And who is stressed for too many responsibilities? Sean. Sean. Okay. Uh, very good. So this is another audio one uh, we are going to, I mean, we are going to listen it right now 
And we're going to finish with this. So please pay attention to it. Chilling out. B. Listen to Sean, S, Lisa, L, and Victor, V, talk about stress. What is the main cause of stress for each person? Write the correct letter. 1. Sean You know, I never appreciated all the things my mother did until I moved here to go to school. Since getting my own place, I've had to grocery shop, cook, clean, and do laundry. And I have to go to classes, research stuff at the library, write essays, and study. Having all this stuff to do really makes me feel pressured. And when I feel pressured, I get stressed out. And then I have no energy to do anything. So when I start feeling that way, I call home. I talk to my parents and have a few laughs with my kid brother. As soon as I start talking to my family, I feel better. It's like magic. 2. Lisa I just don't think there are enough hours in the day. My husband and I both work, and we have two small children, so we're on the go from the moment we get up until the time we go to bed. We love our jobs and we adore our kids, but sometimes enough is enough. Every so often, my husband and I just need a little downtime. If we don't get any, we start to feel the stress and fatigue building up. After the last time it happened, I found the perfect solution. Now, before things get out of hand, I arrange for my children to sleep over at my neighbor's place. It's fine because Betty, that's my neighbor's name, Betty and I are good friends, and her kids and our kids are friends too. Actually, the kids really like going over there. So anyway, after the kids leave, my husband and I have a quiet dinner and maybe watch a video or just listen to some music and talk. I can almost feel the stress melt away. Of course, the neighbor's kids sleep over here sometimes too. Three. Victor. Traffic stresses me out. My family lives in a quiet little suburb north of the city. That means I have to drive in for school and my part-time job. I used to start getting tense even before I got on the highway. Some rush hour drivers can be very rude, and the traffic is usually bumper to bumper. You have to be alert because someone's always trying to cut in front of you. Anyway, now I leave home before the traffic gets too heavy. I know I'll be early, but... As soon as I get there, I go to a little cafe I know and have a coffee and look at the paper or review for my classes. I've made friends with the other regulars, so now I'm always full of energy and ready to start the day. Okay, that's all. Uh, well, let's answer this and we're going to finish with these exercises. Okay, Lisa, what does uh, she uh, do? For Lisa is the second one, has kids sleep over at friend's house. Okay. Has kids sleep over at friend's house and has a quiet dinner. Okay, what about Sean? Well, he he calls home. home when he feels stressed out. Okay, calls home when he feels stressed out. Very good. And what does Victor uh, sleep sleep home 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 it gets too heavy. Yeah, okay, very good. So there we have the uh, exercise, exercises uh, and we have the 20 um, points that we need for this, for this listening exercise, okay? So uh, guys, that's been, that's uh, been all for tonight. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. We're going to be working some exercises. I have prepared some, some exercises for you about section number uh, four in, in, the, in the exercise, no, I mean in the topic uh, 4.4. Uh, 4. So please take a look of that uh, topic, watch the video, and because tomorrow we're going to be discussing about it. Uh, do you have any questions for me? No? 
Yes. No, no question, no. teacher. No, no question, 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 teacher. Okay. Okay, sir, tell me. Someone said no, no for, for me, not the share. Ah, okay, 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 very good. So, um, well, that's been all for tonight. Bye bye, guys. Blessing for all of you and take care. And I see you tomorrow at eight o'clock again, okay? So, uh, remember, we are okay. just missing, let me see, three, four, five, just five sections. That's mean five video conferences. Uh, please be on time and, and try to solve. If you haven't solved the exercises, please try to solve it uh, as soon as possible in order to get the 100%. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be contacting you directly uh, in order to solve the problems that you have for the platform. Uh, I will contact you, um, technical support, and, they, and let's see what they say. Uh, for that okay so bye bye blessings have a good uh, a good night good night thank you teacher good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everyone, everyone.